This is the complete solution from iPhoneInfuse.com. This will work on new and old phones, the exact same steps. This will also work on Macintosh or Windows computers with the exact same steps. You'll see here this phone is in emergency mode, can't be used right now. So this is the problem we're going to solve. You'll see also that iTunes is letting us know that that SIM card is not supported. So we're going to solve that problem too. So this is a three-step process. The first step is going to be downloading the files from the members only area in iPhone Infused and then putting those in the right location. And then the second step is going to be putting this iPhone into DFU mode. If you're not familiar with that, we'll explain it. And then the third step is going to be using iTunes itself to restore using that patched download. So let's do the first step on all the different operating systems or computers, Windows or Mac. We're going to be looking for the iTunes folder. And this is explained in the guide. If you need to know where this is, you can also do a search for it. Now if I see a device support folder inside there, I want to delete it. If not, then you don't need to delete it. But just make sure you get rid of the old one because we want to make a new one in here. So I'm going to make a new folder under iTunes and I'm going to call it device support. And once I get that in there, I'm going to put the small file into that folder. So this is step one complete now. I have them downloaded in the proper location. Big one on the desktop, small one under device support. Step two, we need to put this phone into DFU mode. And we do this by holding the home button down here and the power button up here for about 10 seconds. And we'll know we've done it right because it'll uh, let us know in iTunes. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. It's all about timing, so if you don't get the first time, just try again. So I'm going to start holding these both at the same time. I'll count down to 10 seconds. And then normally right before the apple shows up, I want to let go of only the power. Hold on to the home button. And you heard the beep in the back also. That lets you know that you got your timing right. You continue to hold the home button. You hear a second beep. Then you'll see the warning from iTunes there. So I know this phone isn't just simply off. I can let go now once I get the warning. If the phone was simply off, I wouldn't see this under iTunes. The warning say it's in restore mode. If it was simply off, it would just be a blank screen without the warning. If it was in recovery mode, I'd still see something on the iPhone screen. You see here it's blank as if it was off. So when it's blank and I see the iTunes recovery, I know I've done the DFU right. It's all about timing, so just try it again if you don't get it the first time. All right, so once I get into DFU mode, step two is complete. Let's go to the third and final step. And for the third and final step, all we need to do is restore using iTunes. So I'm going to use the restore button there, making sure that if I'm on a Macintosh, I hold the option key or the Apple key before hitting it. And if I'm on a Windows or a PC, I want to hold the shift key before hitting this. So I'm holding the shift key now, and then I'm going to click on restore. And see, by doing that, it lets me browse to where I want to restore from. If you don't get this, then you didn't hold the key correctly, and it's just going to start restoring right away. So once I get this, I can browse to that big custom file there. I'll just select that and say OK. And this is the complete process. Now, it's simply a matter of time of waiting for this phone to restore. So I'll just leave this going. All right, so that's complete, and you'll see here that iTunes is now happy with the phone. Uh, the phone's now unlocked and working. We have the, the Cydia icon there. That's where we install all of our applications. So I'll just click Done on that phone there, set up as a new phone. So just to recap, this entire process took just a few minutes of interaction for me. I need to first download the files from iPhoneInfuse.com. 
I then put them in the appropriate place. I put the phone into DFU mode. Remember step two, put the phone in DFU mode. And then step three, I simply do the restore on iTunes. And just to verify that that phone is working, see that says T-Mobile there. And let's go ahead and make a call to that phone. <laughs> 